So Nodi has added some new features and improvements here lately since my last post on it. Right now they've, or in the uh, last couple of weeks, they released versions 1.11, 1.11.1, and version 1.12 just recently. So I wanted to get into some of the new features and improvements that they've released now that I've had time to play with some of them. Some of these might be important to you. I've highlighted some of the ones that stand out for me. And over the two updates, you now get a new start page or a new home. And it's set up just like a project, so it adds a lot of good functionality there. You There are some improvements to the markdown support. There is time-based um, automated backups now that you can actually set up and configure. There is a link to their support now for uh, when you do a link to a project that you can now pick the sub board that within that project. And then you also get some batch importing where when you're importing a file um, or you want to do multiple files, you can do it now from the dialog where before you had to do them one at a time. And there are a few more good ones in there. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at it. The first one we're going to look at is the home page. And we can see that fairly clearly here. We can click on this home and it takes me to this particular project, which is dedicated for um, you as you know your kind of personal starting point within the application. Now you can do all kinds of things here. I've put together a dashboard in here just to show you know a different type of use case of what you can do with this where I have some of the uh, projects within the within Nodi here are listed here on this dashboard um, and there's also some sections here where I'm linking out to some uh, notes or pages within Obsidian and also Tick Tick here which is uh, used for project management and then I, along the top here I created some links out to uh, email, to Substack, Instagram, and then also to X or Twitter. And these are real links where I can click on them and they'll take me out to the actual site. Link you up to whatever you put in there. And you can easily get to it from here, similar again, and set this up just like a, a starting point for your day. And then you can jump off from here to any other application that you want, or you can stay with the Nodi. Now in here, I've also created some cards where I can put in some task information for the day. I can put in some notes. I can even link to my journal here and it will open that up. Then I can uh, add in some events for my calendar and then outline some habits or routine uh, items for the day that I want to actually do. So, and, and this is something that you can't do with some of the other apps. I know, you know, this is a visual note taking app, but it is a also a productivity tool. So you can take advantage of some of the features that come with Noti and leverage them to, to be more productive uh, within the tool itself. So this is just one way you can do it. Other apps will not even give you some of the functionality to do some of this stuff because like adding in images, you can add in images and icons and cards and projects on some of the other applications, say like Heptabase, you can add some of the elements in there, but to actually put it in and then be able to lock things in place and then set layers um, of what's going to be in the back and what's going to be in the front that cannot be done in some of the other applications. So I think that is unique here to Nodi and adds again, a little bit of extra value uh, within the app that some people may take advantage of, some people may not. So let's go back to some of the other updates in there. And one right off the bat that I already remember is going to be for the automated backups. So if we come in here to the settings area, we go to backup and restore. We now get a area here where we, where we can enable auto backup and we can set up that path. So you do get two different backup locations now. So one for the automated backups and then one for a full backup. So note that this automated backup only backs up the information within your environment here, um, like your projects, your boards, your cards, but the actual media that's sitting um, on the storage or within the library here, none of the media is actually backed up for, with this particular option here. So PDFs, um, videos, other uh, images and things like that, they're, 
are not included in this one here. So this one's fairly new. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this gets used, but at least there's something here where you can restore back your environment, even if the data is not coming along with it, um, because you can still do manual full backups if you need to. So maybe what you can do is get to a state to where you can do a full backup, which will bring the media with it. And then if there's anything within the uh, your environment that's missing that was not as current as it should have been, then you can actually use this one here to shore it up. And hopefully most of the media is already there from that full restore that you did. Now, if you don't want this, you can come in here and you can toggle it off. Um, and if you want to change the location, you can do that as well. While we're in the settings, we'll go into a couple other features here. In the home preferences now, you get the option in the, uh, this came in 1.12, you get the options to turn on and off some of the the uh, the areas that are sitting in your, your home here or in the left sidebar. So if you don't want to see some of these things here, you can turn them off. One thing to note is that some of them are required. So the library is one that will not let you uh, disable it. They reach out to them to say maybe this one should be grayed out so you don't have to, uh, you don't get the illusion that you can disable it. And then projects is another one that you cannot disable. But you can come in here and you can disable all of these other options here. And if I go ahead and delete, remove those or disable them, and then I hit save, we can see that now we have a slim down minimalistic sidebar here with only projects and library. And then you can turn these on incrementally or all um, of these here and just have them open, whichever suits your need and your preference. There's also some improvements to the markdown support. So when you paste in your markdown, and, and I've been doing some of this here from Obsidian to to uh, Nodi, copy and pasting some some of my documents from there, and you know it's kind of been all over the place as far as what you know what you would get when you did that. But now it works um, a lot better when you're pasting Markdown from another application into Nodi. It's uh, a lot better now. We already covered the automated backups. I'm going to talk about the linking to subboards. So if I'm in my lab here. Let's go ahead. You can now you can link to projects, and if I have a subboard that I want to link to, like I have these in here, let's actually go in here and link to. We'll just do the before. So that shows up here, and if I were to open it, we can see it goes into it, and I can go back as well. And that state is kept. So that's another uh, piece of the update here is that the state is kept and it remembers now where which board you're actually in when you're in a project. So if I was to come in here and then again go back to that um, that previous board, it will take me here. Now this one only has one board uh, to begin with, but if I was to come in here and create a board two, let's go in here and let's link another database will link to a different board in this one we'll go to that board and there's nothing in this particular board but if I go back now it goes back to actual board 2 so this is another good feature before it was just going to the uh, the top one the default one and then you'd have to go back and select whichever one you're in if you remember another one here that I have highlighted is being able to uh, to import multiple videos and files onto your whiteboard. So previously when you wanted to add something to your whiteboard and you wanted to import it either via the link mode or the you know the default link uh, import mode you only could select one particular item. Now we can come in here and I can select multiple files and I can do open and it will pull those in. So all of them come in. I think down the road uh, there's some talks about formatting how it gets imported maybe if you're importing all images maybe it formats them a certain way in the grid or, or, or something but right now they all at least they come in and you don't have to do them one at a time while we're on this sidebar here we can see this the sidebar where you can enable and disable things but 
there's also some features or a little quality of life features that were added where I can collapse the favorites and I can collapse the recent. Before, if I'm doing these videos or if I'm just showing someone my desktop, maybe I don't want them to see certain things in here. You can easily hide those or just make your, your sidebar a little bit more distraction free. Um, if you want to at least see these things and don't want to do like a full hide of that sidebar. You can also come in here and you can easily close these and you can add them to favorites from here as well. So nice little tweaks here to add some uh, additional functionality here. Some other things now on the card you can import, you can insert I should say PDFs and video files. So if I come in here and I just hit the slash command and then scroll down to the bottom, we'll see now you have PDF and you have video and you have file options here for you to do that. We can also drag files from the finder window into the cards and the journal. So I'll give myself some space down here and let's open up finder and let's go ahead and just drag in an image there. And we dragged in the image and it also asked me which mode I want to do it in. I'm going to do this one in link mode. We import that in there and now it's there. And this can be done in the in a regular card or even a journal now. We can even come over into the right sidebar, open that up, and we can drag files from that side over into the card now. So no more need to actually hit the slash command and add add these files in there. You can just drag them, drag and drop them from the sidebar. Also get better support for or actual support for Zotero and Obsidian links. So if I was to open up Obsidian here and I was to copy the Obsidian link, I can come in here and I can paste this in and we can see that it puts a line underneath it and everything. So it sees that it is a link and if I click on it, it takes me over into Obsidian. You can also, uh, if you want to format the naming of that, you can simply just do a link here and let's put link and let's type Obsidian in home and we hit done and that way it's formatted a little bit better than what you have with the default paste option. I think it would be nice if when you paste it in a link it actually asks you if you want to change the name or not um, or change you know have some different type of embed option. You can come in here select it you can hit the image here and if you come in here it should let you edit it but as you can see here it does not so doing it the previous way where you add a new link and then do it that way uh, you should be fine so a couple of different ways to add those links i don't have zotera to show that one but you can either add the link url to a link from using the slash command or you can just paste it into one of the blocks of your card. There is now built in image and video viewing options in the library. So if we take a move over into the library here, let's uh, drag in a video. See if we can grab a video here. So the video will not we still cannot just drag a video in there, but let's put one on onto the board here. We'll go ahead and import it the regular way. Put that there. And now that we have the image there, let's go into the library and we can just hit play on this here. It will open up the dialogue and then we can play this particular video. We can see how that goes there. It's playing. And if we were to go in here and we just drag in an image, see one here, let's put that image in there. We'll go into the library. And what I have to do first is, we first put this, I actually have this in here twice. So let me come in here and create a card and add that one to the library. Come in here and there we go. So you got both video and, uh, and image viewing from the library there. Now, if I wanted to come in here, let's take a look at this. Now you can copy and paste into the library. So if I, let's take this second one here. If I wanted to put this in here, we can see I cannot drag that in there, similar to what I could not do uh, before. 
if I come in here and let's just select this information here and let's paste that in and we can see that that imported into this library and we can see what we have here so this is pretty nice go back to the updates so we have built in image viewing direct import by pasting and support for panning the whiteboard when editing a card uh, I won't show that one so now we can drag and drop video highlights into the whiteboard and in card so let's go and come here See if we do some highlights for this one here, let's go there. We'll okay, so let's highlight. see what this thing looks like on mobile. We're gonna, so I have a card here for the podcast. Let's Turn. click into it, mobile. We'll do that and let's do one more. So I have these two now. Let's go ahead and put that in the sidebar. And what I can do now is I can easily drag those over. Okay, so those are now there. I can also pan this around. If I have a card in here, should be able to open that in the side, give that a name, and you can see that it edits in real time here. So I can edit the card there. I can edit a card over here. Either way, um, I can make use of both sides here of the screen. If I wanted to, let me see if we, I have this one highlight there. So I can put the highlight in here, but I cannot edit the highlight. So you can drag and drop them in there, but you cannot edit this highlight. It would be nice if I double click on it, maybe it'll open up the video so that I can do more highlights for this particular video or at least see the actual card that it came from. Um, but in this case, I'll have and to know exactly where it came from. Right now. And then be able to come over here let's go sidebar and maybe add some additional um, highlights to it this way so still some potential for making this this user experience a little bit better when it comes to these highlights that are sitting on the board another good feature here with Nodi is that when you, you you get the option to put cards on your board but you can also hide these from the library so when you go into the library you don't see a bunch of um, items that don't make sense to be in your library and they're they're really only needed and used within the project or the board itself you get these low um, you can actually hide these so if you come in here there's a there's a hide and whiteboard this one here is saying make visible in in the uh, library so right here we can make this visible but if I want it to not be visible in the library we can come in here and we can change that I'd have to unlock it here and then come in here and do lot hide from the library. And then I can come back in here and lock it again. It was a little bit interesting where I can um, undo or make visible uh, just from here using these shortcuts up here in the up in the top kind of banner of the card. But this is actually locked. And you don't get any of the options in the menu. I guess it's not too big of an, a deal, but it doesn't seem consistent with the menu itself where when you lock it, it doesn't let you change anything, but actually over here, you can change um, the visibility here within the library. It is what it is. There are plenty more updates that they have here that, that I have not gone through. You can see backlinks now all the way down to the subboard level. Um, I did mention that it remembers the state, the home page, left sidebar customization I mentioned where you can turn things on and off and see those or not. And then there is the um, whiteboard cards are now displayed that, that little icon that I showed. You got the favorites where you uh, now support drag and drop. And then there's recent support where you can collapse and also close individual options. So really the only one I did not show there was, so if we go into the library here and let's right click, we will add to favorite there. We will add another one here to favorite. And it looks like only certain things can be added to the favorite. So this file cannot be added as a favorite, but we can come in here and add another card to the favorite side there. 
And if I wanted to move these around, we can see I can drag and drop these around. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the content on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.